Hi guys, my name's Sam. I'm a member of the Young Adults team at Audacious Church, at uh, Manchester campus. So, the current topic for the church is all about salvation. And this will be my story regarding my journey to salvation. So, before I begin, I want to read out some scriptures of... Um, that's something I can relate to in, with my story and other people can as well. So the first one is Revelation 3.20. Here I am, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. So what I think Jesus is trying to say here is that people may think that they're so far divided from Jesus. They feel like their chances of salvation have passed. They feel like they're... They had the opportunity and now it's completely gone because Jesus has now left them. But Jesus is always at your door and he will always stay there. And if you let him in, he will come into your life. And Jesus is not far away at all. And the second scripture I want to read out is Colossians 3.12. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility and gentleness and patience. I want to highlight the word patience there. So, I was never brought up in a Christian household. I wasn't encouraged to go to church or read the Bible. And any mention of Christianity to me was, I was completely disregarded. I was seen as non-important. And that's how I lived my life for a long time. But all that changed when, firstly, I got to meet people in college who were Christian. And what really stuck out to me was, I was impressed and surprised at just how strong their faith was. It didn't seem to me that they were following this because they were inclined to, because they were told to, it's how they were raised. But because their faith was so real, it made me think, it's not fair to disregard Christianity if you haven't at least given it a chance. So that where, that's where I went on at least being open to the idea of Christianity. But my real journey started when I got invited to church to attend a sermon and I went in there thinking this is not going to impact me at all. I'm going to go but I don't really see how this will change me. But when I attended the church and got to learn about God, learn about the Bible, got to pray, got to really learn about God's word, the impact it had on me really surprised me because I didn't think that Christianity would have this impact on me, but it made me want to do it again. It made me want to uh, go to church again, learn about the Bible, learn about the power of prayer. And I was always open to the idea at some point I'm going to fall back to my old ways of completely disregarding the word of God and the word of Christianity. But my faith has always only grown. It's three or four years now since uh, I attended that sermon and I've now learned about the power of prayer, the power of God's greatness and just how important um, Christianity can be if you actually give it a chance. And that is what happened to me and recently I ended up getting baptised because I was at the point where I can say I'm not going back to my old ways. I am going to stay with God because I really do believe in the word of God and the power of prayer and the love of Jesus and I want this story to really help people who may think they've not found their salvation yet and some people may think they don't even know if they want to be saved but I was exactly like that I was completely away from Christianity as a whole I didn't practice or know anything about the Bible but as mentioned in the scripture, Jesus, he is not far away. He is only at your door. And if you generally want to be saved, you can let him in. And he will be there for you. And all it takes is patience, going back to Colossians. Because, you know, it may, you might not have found your salvation yet. And you may think it's been so long and you still haven't found it that it's just not going to happen to you. But patience is the key in this because Jesus saves you at different times so yeah uh hopefully my uh, story can <laughs> help some people but um thanks for thanks for listening thank you